Hello, Pisces. Rambo Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today. Thank you for tuning in one more time, my friends. I appreciate your time. Also, thank you for reaching out and touching that like button. Thank you for reaching out, touching that subscribe button. It's just right there. Thank you for it, my friends. Also, definitely want to thank all my Pisces that reached out and blessed me with donations. Thank you, my friends. Many of you, very kind of you. I appreciate it all. And all my Pisces, huh? They reach out to me for private readings. Thank you. I love you, Pisces. Always a blessing to get to know each and every one of you on a personal level. All right. Let's play some cards. These will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2019. First half of the month. These readings will be for love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, home, work, family. I myself am going to be focusing on love. That's because I love to read for love. We all know there's no way these are going to be for every Pisces on the planet, huh? So, hey, if this general reading resonates with you, run with it and have fun with it. And if it does not, have fun throwing it out. Mm-hmm. On my cross watchers, you know you're welcome here. I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Pisces a lot, this could very well play out from your perspective and probably will. It is tarot. And Pisces, I want to remind you, these can play out vice versa. So let's fire up our intuition, <clears throat> our psychic abilities, all those wonderful giftings that we all have as we play with this fun esoterical world of tarot today. All right, Pisces, been shuffling your cards for a little bit. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Terry, love team. Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Pisces see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Whew. Feel good. Here we go, Pisces caught in the deck. Pisces. First card out. Hmm? Four of Wands. I told you I felt good. Mm hmm. Nice, uh, four of wands, uh, the old 1111 card showing up right in the middle of my Pisces spread, huh? It's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. You know, four of wands at a bare minimum can talk about a upgrade in a relationship to say the very least, huh? It's about despise not the day of small beginnings, that amazing couple dancing with each other, the sun shining on their head, the Taj Mahal behind them. It's a beautiful opening for a love reading right there. Four of Wands. Crossed over Pisces with another amazing card on top of this. The Wheel of Fortune. A major arcana, major life force card. You definitely can talk about karmic cycles that have gone round and round and round between these two right here. And many times that old four of wands energy right there can represent an old divine relationship that's gone around and around through some karmic cycles. But this card talks about the wheel spinning in an upward direction for you, Pisces, at this particular point in time. Winner, winner, chicken dinner coming in. This is Jupiter. The planet of expansion and good luck. Yay. Can talk about all four fixed zodiacs as well. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo can all be represented by this card. Beautiful. Wheel of Fortune on top of Four of Wands. I told you I felt good when I, as soon as I cut that deck. Here we go, Pisces. Bottom of the spread is a queen of wands. This is the queen of passion, male or female. Hmm? This is somebody that's good looking. You've known them for a while. 
Fire energy as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. It could be magic, huh? She's got that black cat in her lap. Uh, this could be somebody involved in the esoterical world. They're definitely not afraid of it. You know, this is witchy poo. I love her. Absolutely love her. It's the queen of passion. The sun shines on them. I love the sunflowers right there, huh? Soulmate energy uh, with my queen of wands, male or female. Recent past, woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. boom, boom, boom. Something's happening with Pisces right here. Some shifted, boy. The wheel changed right here. Woo, Ace of Cups showing up. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Could have been a sudden change for somebody right here. A little boom, da -da boom, da -da boom, boom, boom in their heart. Woo, man. Ace of Cups can talk about. A direct connect with the divine. You know, that agape love, that God kind of love, huh? Can talk about self-love, huh, Pisces? About falling in love with yourself, healing of the heart, healing of the mind. Ace of Cups can talk about love and all the possibilities there. And Ace of Cups can definitely talk about unspoken love, huh? Many times these peeps right here, you know, they don't really tell each other how they really feel about each other for a season. And then all of a sudden, boom, the heart chakra explodes and out comes all this wonderful, wonderful feelings of love and emotion. It is the hand of the divine handing the cup. I love this spread so far with the wheel of fortune and four of wands straight up in the middle. And somebody really good looking, somebody that many of my Pisces are really passionate about at the base of the spread. You've known this peep for a while here. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Eight of swords on top of the spread. Oh, got all up in, got all up in the head because these two, you know, they may have been separation here for a period between these two because Eight of Swords can talk with me about that. You know, feeling trapped, all up in your head. Can talk about a lack of communication between the two. Feeling trapped. The only place that we really are trapped is in our thought process. That's the beautiful thing about tarot. You can look at the pictures and go, well, man, uh, this is looking pretty good right here. You know, she's not really trapped. Many of my Pisces could feel they're trapped in a situation. There's air energy right there, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But truly, the only place that we really are trapped is in our thought process, huh? She's, she could get out of those swords anytime she wants. She could back up on one of them and cut those loose binds off, pull that blindfold off. Get out of this itty bitty miry clay back up to the high vibration castle uh, where Pisces is supposed to be ruling and reigning at. I just see there's a lack of communication here. Somebody's been all up in their head. Maybe they got themselves into a situation they need to let themselves free from. But the time has come for it. Wheel of Fortune spinning around on top of four of wands with the Ace of Cups floating around and somebody very passionate and magical in your distant past. There it is. Judgment card coming in. Uh, Pisces making a judgment call about what they're going to do. It's a major arcana, major life force. Comes out of the spirit part of the tarot deck. Shows Gabriel flying around, blowing that trumpet, causing people to have awakenings. Hmm. Shows the lovers coming up out of the grave there in this card. Second chances, third chances. You know, phoenix from the ashes when the proper judgment call is made. You know, and this is definitely a spiritual card. Definitely talks with me about seeing things the way that you want them to be. Realizing the fact that you are creating your own reality. That what you think, feel, and believe is what you're going to manifest. This talks with me about a divine love that went through some karmic cycles. 
the 1111 card, and judgment shows the lovers coming up from the grave here. I uh, soulmate energy with my queen of wands. Oh, here we go, man. <laughs> Ace of wands showing up here. Uh, Pisces sees themselves. Pisces is desiring a passionate new beginning with this four of wands. Peeps right here. Ooh, yeah, man. Got an ace, two aces. New beginnings coming in here for my Pisces in love and passion. The ace of wands talks about a passion, a new beginning. A simple uh, call for this card is go for it. Go for it. Get out of your head right up there. Go for it. Ace of Wands. The thrust and lust of life. A passionate new beginning. Huh? It's like striking that match and the flame comes off the top. Well, what are you going to do with that? We're going to start a fire with that right there. Ace of Wands. It's how Pisces sees themselves desiring a passionate beginning right here. And if anything, between these two right here, Four of Wands... There's great passion between these two. And the queen of passion. Oh my goodness, there's, there's just absolutely passion between these two. Oh, look what showed up right here. My queen of cups has showed up on top of this wheel of fortune. There's Pisces right there. My queen of love. Could also be somebody else. We got fire and water happening on this spread. That's alchemy, you know. The blending of fire and water makes steam, passion. Ooh, I like this. This is a nice match, to be honest with you. And I don't have gender with this. It can be male, female, 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 male, male. But we got fire, huh? You know, the magic person right here with my empath, my one with psychic abilities, the dreamer. Huh? They've been dreaming about each other right here. No doubt about it. And uh, big giant cup of love that Pisces got for somebody right here. Mm, it's beautiful. Beautiful love story unfolding here. This is the queen of love. This is agape love. Powerful. Powerful love spread with a passion, a passion and love involved with these two peeps right here. Yeah, get out of Eight of Swords. Go for it, Pisces, huh? Make that judgment call and go get them. That's what I see right here. This is a healer, too. I see healing coming in here between these two. Uh-oh. I see what Eight of Swords is about. And you know, with Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, a new beginning, Seven of Swords has showed up right here in the old fear factory up here. You know, hoping that this person isn't going to be sneaky. There, may, there probably was some problems with these two. Eight of Swords, you know, and all that. There generally is. But let's get this out of our thoughts. Seven of Swords, that's all sneaky, you know. Somebody running around. It's the old liar cheater. And it's up here in your fears position, which is right up there by Eight of Swords, all up in your head. Huh? Uh, uh, judgment card talks about possibly somebody owing somebody an apology. All that rot. This is love and this is passion right here. It's crazy love. It's crazy passion right here. Huh? That old stinking thinking, throw that out the door. Throw it out the door. And, uh, wow, uh, crowning the spread is a major arcana, major life force card. It's a fool card. It's all about taking that leap of faith, huh? Right there, the judgment call. I hope this spread helps you come out of Eight of Swords and come out of that fear about Seven of Swords. And if there has been Seven of Swords, eyes wide open, huh? Yeah. Eyes wide open. Very intuitive right here. This is Uranus, the planet of sudden change. It's Aquarius. It's Aries. It's a leap of faith. 
It's like uh, the fool just got shot out of the sun right there. He's on top of the mountains. This guy's little buddy right there with him. Hey, look out. You're going to step off the cliff. But you know the fool. The fool's like, it's all right. I was lying on my feet anyway. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be, because Geronimo, here I go. <laughs> Pisces, jump in. Go for it. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups on the board. Four of Wands, the wheel spinning in an upward direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Huh? My queen of love and my queen of passion. Whatever gender that is, this is an amazing, passionate, Love reading right here that's just about just to take a leap in a brand new direction. Three of Pentacles can talk about a passionate new beginning. Actually, this card talks about desiring to uh, start a new foundation with somebody or something. You know, there's definitely been some three people in this situation. Seven of Swords showing up there. Let's just get straight. Whatever, Whatever's going on right here. Let's make some communication. Let's go for it. And let the past be in the past. Three of Swords showing up. There's been heartache and heartbreak. There's been three people. Whatever side. Whatever side, let's let it go. Leap of faith right here. Three of swords showing up. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to shake this out. You ready, Pisces? Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Pisces' heart. Out. I love it. I love it. Let all this stinking thinking go. Let's go ahead and see things the way that we want them to be. I love the judgment card right there. And the death card is on the bottom of the spread. This situation may have felt really, really dead at one time, you know. Three of swords and three of pentacles. Somebody was playing with somebody else, but obviously that old karmic situation didn't pan out. Who, who's ever side that was on? These two belong together right here. This is beautiful. And the death card talks about death, birth, and resurrection. Mm -hmm. It is the story of the caterpillar, you know. Made the cocoon, went inside, died, turned to goo. I'm sure that's not fun for the caterpillar at all. And then the divine, right here, the divine comes and touches that cocoon. And when it opens up, oh, the butterfly comes out. Never going back to being the caterpillar. Hmm? I love it. It's an amazing spread right here. Yeah, death cycle. Transformation with a four of wands relationship. Got angels flying around, blowing the horns. Gonna get these two peeps here together. Fire and water. It may take a minute, you know, I mean, but the divine knows how to blend that up, and it may have taken a minute. Let's come out of our head, let's loose the stinking thinking, and, uh, you know, let's step forward into the transformation of this relationship that's coming out on this board right here. Many, many of these divine relationships are coming together on the planet. It's destiny with the Wheel of Fortune on top of Four of Wands. I'm loving it, man. Ace of Wands. Fool card. Letting the past go. Transformation has happened. Been very painful, but absolutely coming out of it right there. All right. Love cards on top of this for Pisces, please. Thank you, love angels. First one is unrequited love. There was definitely unrequited love in this situation at one time because there was three people over here. That just talks to me that somebody loved the other one more than the other one, huh? Let's, let's get these uh, even, equally yoked up here. You know, back in the old days when they plowed their fields with animals, they had to make sure that both of the animals were the same strength or it would pull the plow in a crooked direction, huh? All right, coming out of that unrequited love, transformation right here, coming out of three of swords, coming out of three of pentacles, taking a leap of faith right there. It says, give this relationship a chance. Hmm? Definitely been some heartache and some heartbreak, but, you know, let's let that go. Let's let it go. Let's find this divine love. This is an amazing love spread right here. Give this relationship a chance. 
There may be children involved in the situation, or there may be children that are coming. I mean, I'm looking at this spread right here. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment Card, and the Queen of Love, and the Queen of Passion. There may be children in the 5D that are standing in line that want to be part of this union. Just saying. All right, here we go. One more for Pisces, please. Wedding. Hmm? This situation involves a marriage. And that could be right over here. Somebody could have been married with three of pentacles, all that. But all that is absolutely coming to an end and it's flipping the wheel and uh, the wedding card has showed up here. Um, you know, or a committed relationship is definitely beginning to evolve here. Oh, and there it is right there, huh? My four of wands lines right up with old religious factors here. Could be age differences, cultural differences, color of skin differences, huh? Same sex, <laughs> religious, all that. Spiritual, all that rot. Hmm? We're not taking this into the new world right here. And it's these, uh, these uh, peeps right here that are stepping out on the cutting edge, huh? Setting us free from all those social taboos with love. Well, you can't love them. They're the wrong color. They're the same sex. They're the wrong age. Blah, blah, blah. That's all coming down right here. I love it for you. Religious factors came out. Strong chemistry between these two. Strong magnetic attraction. And for many of you, there has been separation for a season in this relationship right here and yes somebody had to release an x it's right here or somebody is releasing an x there's change coming right here for you pisces it's super good and heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other communication between these two chemistry maybe talking about having some babies maybe talking about getting hooked up right here with the wedding card Definitely been some separation. Somebody's releasing an ax. Transformation has come right here. And the old religious factor is right in the middle. And then I got to show you this one. Oh, Pisces. Boom, right there. True love came out. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> wow, Pisces, man. I, I love it. Your, your readings. Uh, this is the last one I did this time as well. Always saving the best for last. It's an absolutely beautiful spread. Go ahead and take that leap of faith on huh? that passionate new beginning. Yeah, man. I love this. Both of these queens. The queen of love and the queen of passion right here. It's beautiful. And the leap of faith. The fool up on top. Here we go. Judgment. Huh? Resurrection. Phoenix from the ashes. And a true love story right here. All right. Here we go. Major on top for Pisces, please. The temperance card showed up. That Sagittarius may mean something to you, may not. As a matter of fact, let me look at my majors here. I got Sagittarius. There's Scorpio. There's Aquarius, Aries. And then uh, all four fixed zodiacs. Uh, that would be Taurus and Leo. May mean something to you, may not. Sagittarius. Temperance card talks about patience. Many of my Pisces have been patient. Talks about being balanced. Definitely talks to me about a divine union that's been in the ethers. It's being manifested into the 3D right here, right now. I love it. And of course, the chariot card on the bottom of the spread. Somebody else got these two majors as well. Chariot card is Cancer and Sagittarius showing up again. Talks about victory, movement forward, full steam ahead. I love it. It is such a powerful spread. Shows, uh, you know, the light shining down on my warrior charioteer right there. 
This relationship may pull many of my Pisces out of their comfort zone, but this is a card of victory, huh? Focused victory on what you want to manifest, which is a true love, a true love. It took a minute for it to come together, but it's absolutely coming together. Happy for you, Pisces. Hope you enjoyed this. Namaste. Love and light, my friends. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.